this is Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day three in Scripps Ranch. And this was a very productive day. You can see that we got the sod cut out of the side area. This is going to be edged with um, river rock, that indigenous Scripps Ranch rock. We're going to bring in a yard of soil to create mounds in here and then we're going to stage some beautiful boulders and I'm going to plant some succulents in this area here. Over here, the standard roses are going to get moved to the back. I'm going to do uh, mini boulder and succulents in this cutout. We aren't going to... Um, this is no longer going to be a flower bed. We're just going to, going to have this area extend all the way to the walk path. And I'm going to do some succulents in these cutouts where the rosemary was. This is a magnificent crepe myrtle tree and it's staying. So whatever I do in here, we're going to top dress with monkey hair mulch. You can see we got started on the river rock edging, dividing the properties on this side. It looks really cute. It's just a simple, easy thing to do. We're gonna be doing a flagstone walk path all through here. Okay, go ahead. We got the flagstone all, um, laid out through this area and the arbor installed. We moved their cute little painted bench underneath the Bradford pear tree. I'm going to be doing Petalanthus bracteus along this fence here. Um, some of you commented on the fence wondering if it was going to be removed. It's a chain link fence right now. There's a couple of reasons for it. One, is access to this incredible view that they have behind them and two is budget it's not in the budget to put in a new fence so we have got all of these or i should say the client has all these fantastic fruit trees in this backyard many of them are are dormant right now and they're deciduous so when they are in full flush in the spring along with all the other fantastic things we're doing in the yard you're not going to notice the fence. And that's kind of the point. You know, they just want people to look through it and onto the amazing view. Okay. Look at this. Woo! Greg and the guys and the homeowners helped out. We finished the dry stream bed. Isn't it magnificent? All, oh my God, there were tons, literally probably, of river rock. And there still are here in Scripps Ranch. And... Everywhere we dug, we found rock. So in addition to some that we bought at the rock yard, most of this river rock, we pulled out of this space and just repurposed it into this amazing stream bed. Greg is working on the irrigation. We're wringing all of the fruit trees in the garden. The guy staged two flagstone bridges across the dry stream bed. There's going to be a fire pit sunk right here and Greg's building benches to go around it. So we wanted to make sure that we had access to get to the pit. This is a Fuji persimmon. Here's another bridge. So fun. This is going to be a seating area here, and then we're gonna be pulling in other seating areas. Um, we really have the bones done now. Greg's just working, you know, continuing to work on the irrigation. This is gonna be uh, solar lighted. Um, Monday and Tuesday are gonna be days that we're gonna wrap, and uh, you're gonna see a lot of progress again. End of Business Monday when I get all of the plants in and start to really identify where my little vignettes for seeding are gonna be. Here's the tapestry for those of you that didn't see yesterday's video. Not top dressed yet, but you get the idea. This is what the client looks at through her kitchen window, so it's pretty spectacular. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting for Team DFS in Scripps Ranch, California. 
with your succulent tip of the day.